Remember last December when you spent hours trying to send those wedding photos to your family group? Yes, sir. They buffering for hours, but the uploads kept failing. Ah. Not anymore. We at Nyamangoro Telecoms provide you with high-speed internet at super discounted rates. Activate one of our data bundles so your nosy pugnose family won't have to budge into your home uninvited just to get updates. Call us now or no call them. Now you sabi. Ever feel like you don't have time to enter the kitchen? <laughs> Got a deadline you have to catch up with at work? Uh -huh. Don't bother. Mala Food Delivery Service don't hear your cry. We bring you all African delicacies straight to your doorstep. Now nah, chew you want, we get them. Now nah, pound the yam you need, we, we get them. Mala Food Delivery Service. You crave it, we make it happen. Boy, now this one go take him out here. Oh. Baba Allah, me save don't sweat tire. If only I for feet. You hear him? No be. Ndongo. Fresh water like you've never had before. With Ndongo, you will never thirst again. Promotion ongoing. Buy five, get one free. Ndongo fresh water. La fraîcheur de ça. Jadia. 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 You're welcome to Jadia Radio. Jadia. Just another day in Africa. Jadia. Just another day in Africa. Jadia. 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 You're welcome to Jadia Radio. Yeah. yeah. Let's go. Today I am here with one of my favorite co-hosts. Yeah. Someone who is really known for bringing out gist, <laughs> bringing out the positive energy, oh, yeah. bringing out the enthusiasm. Mm -hmm. Lembeza. Yes, Walu Jaba is always so good when I wake up knowing that I'm going to be with you right here in the studio. Hello to everyone listening to us. This is Jadia Radio, just another day in Africa. And I am super excited about today's episode because we have one of Africa's finest. Ladies and gentlemen, let's make welcome Phenomena Rapper One Shay. Yes, sir. What's good, Africa? Uh, it's One Shay. I'm happy to be here. Thank you for having me, Jadia Radio Station. I'm glad to be here. It's so good to have you. We are Thank so you. Ha honored to have you here today. I Thank wish you. that everyone listening to us right now would uh, have a glance just to see how you look like uh, hey. a million boxes of milkshake. Hey. Unfortunately for them, we are on radio. Hey. But I think, <laughs> <laughs> I think from the way I put it, everybody can actually tell. They facts, can actually facts, facts. visualize you already. Do you have any surprises for me? I came so to have fun. Many. I came yeah. to have fun. I don't know about you guys though. I came to have fun. Well, you came to have fun and we've been out here waiting to have fun from you because we know you've come with a couple of songs that we're going to be dancing to. And that right, Walu Jaba. We are very all right. And we are very happy to have him here because he's also the surprise we have been expecting. Yes. And our, okay. our okay. audience has been expecting. <laughs> yeah. So you are the surprise somehow. Yeah. Baby, rest assured, there's a lot that is going to surprise you today. Uh, maybe we should start with one song already. What do you think about Roots? I think Root is a really deep song, like the name entails. It's deep. It might take us to our history. It might even give us a history of our radio station. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it might even make you think of your day, your date of birth of or the day you were born. When I so, hear Root, I just think of the village. You the think whole of the village. setting, everything about it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Do villages still exist the way uh, towns maybe. are? Maybe. Maybe not in Africa right now, <laughs> but we really cannot wipe of those out. Of course, villages exist. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> they, they, what do you mean? What do what we knew as a village back then, underdeveloped, less than 5,000 people, it's no longer now. Those places are developed with universities, with yeah. third roads. Like, Definitely. what do we call a village anymore? Well, maybe one she has another story to tell yeah. when he talks of roots. So, roots for you, ladies and gentlemen. Stay with us and do well to dance right from your home. Fun fact, right now around the world, almost everybody, I think it's 65% of the world lives in urban cities. And this just tells us that if the trend continues this way, we are going to live in an environment where villages no longer exist. I know we started with this little debate yeah. of what is a village, but yeah. if everything is being turned into an urban area, it means by 2050, 
Africa, this our city, would be a whole town. Like it would be so more than that. We we'll not even remember that at first it used to be a village. So, Mr. Wanshi, now that you're here, can you tell us about that particular traffic you wanted to complain about? What actually causes traffic? Is it the rainfall? Is it the sun? Because sometimes we have this, we make this correlation between rainfall yeah. and traffic. Yeah, have you course. noticed it? Of course. When it Every rains, day, there's traffic there's automatically. Traffic when it rains. Why is that correlation? Why does it exist? I, ca I can't drive. I cannot drive at all to save my life. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, but, but yeah, I, I hear you. And I think um, the traffic situation here in the city is something that needs to be looked at. But, the, the the city is doing well to address some of these issues. Like, do you, do you remember the potholes that used to be? Yeah, uh, of every every everybody knows. Yeah. Today, actually, they were being filled, so that's a good sign. That's one thing. I don't think it's a good sign. <laughs> Why is that? Usually, when they construct roads, they always say there is a construction phase, there is the rehabilitation phase, and there is the maintenance phase. Yeah. Filling in potholes is the maintenance phase, right? Mm -hmm. Meaning it was not well constructed. Just maybe filling the potholes for now is going to help. Why other measures are being put in place? Lembeza, to do we something. need to call a spade a spade. People are getting <laughs> late to work. <laughs> like now All of these things, we need to address them on time. L l l l l like a, a, a wise philosopher once said, this philosopher was called Regross. Okay. Oh, <laughs> wow. Are you serious right now? <laughs> like a wise philosopher called Regross once okay, said, okay. Um, when you can't go around things, it's best you maintain. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. so, so, so uh, wow. I, I think the city took that too literally. So we are, we are just maintaining the roads. <laughs> we have a lot of things on the show today um, to bring to our guests, bring to our listeners. But before we get there, maybe we have a commercial break. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Ladies and gentlemen, once more, welcome to Jadia Radio Station, the place to be. It is just another day in Africa. Right now, I want us to listen to another musical piece by this musical genius that is here in the name of Wan Shi. This song is called Morphine. Listen to it and get that morphine in you running. So, Wanshe, after listening to Morphine, I think I have the impression that this song is about women, or most especially a woman, a lady. Uh -uh. So, Wanshe, <laughs> can you tell us about this lady? Who is she and how... Did she become this person <laughs> that you're writing a whole song about? Now, before you start talking, remember that there is a lady in the studio. <laughs> okay. Lembeza. So let's hear your story. <laughs> I neither deny nor confirm <laughs> the fact that, that this, this story is true. <laughs> so, uh, uh, but okay, the, the thing is, uh, this is Africa and we, we are blessed with uh, very beautiful and amazing women. Definitely. Mm. Yes, we have one in the studio. Oh, thank you so much. You're welcome. Uh, <laughs> Lovely one for that. So, I, I I think uh, <clears throat> it's 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 every it's, it's every artist dream to be able to pay homage to these wonderful ladies who have actively participated in in building Africa, becoming leaders themselves. This is this is this is my own small little contribution. As I said before. I don't know if it's about a lady in particular, uh, uh, but uh, it, it could be. It could just not could be. be. We, we never we, we know. Don't want to we don't We will the never details. know. Walu <laughs> Jaba, <laughs> <laughs> he says that the song, uh, it tells the lady story, you can get it in his own words. You can get it. Do you think you can figure out who that song was about? I once heard him say he once stared at a girl so much that the girl asked him to cover his mouth. <laughs> so um, I went through his, his uh, Instagram uh, account. He tells us something about the kinds of girls he's attracted to. Yes. Objection. <laughs> <laughs> so we are kind of interpreting. Uh, objection of our road. <laughs> <laughs> it's good to have you in the studio, Wanshe. We are enjoying every bit of this session. Oh, yeah. So ladies and gentlemen, why we hope that you are having a good time with us. It's time to take another musical break. And this time, I'm not sure I want to cut my tongue. Um, I'm just going to let Wanshe pronounce this particular track. Uh, it's something like Kinyo Mo. What, the only thing I actually know in <laughs> in that dialect is Nyom Shilif. So maybe he pronounces this one for us. <laughs> this song is called Kinyo Moon. Kinyo Moon. Kinyo Moon. Walu Jabak 
Can you say that? Kinyo Moon. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> Kinyo Moon for you. And we will be right back. If you're just tuning in, you're on Jadia radio station. Jadia, just another day in Africa. I wanted us to segue to something much more serious. Mm. I think now that we're done with the ladies part, we want to look at the architectural side of things. Okay. Mm. So, why are artists never satisfied with their work? It often feels like their angst is more on the fact that if they were given more time, they would have refined their work to make it better. Sounds more like you're describing a perfectionist. <laughs> <laughs> because I can tell I can tell you for sure, like personally, I I get easily satisfied with my work. Maybe I'm just too lazy because I don't want to re-record or reproduce. I easily get satisfied with my work because I I don't I don't play around with my ideas and I really I really value each idea I get. But to be much more objective, you are right, because as a rapper. I, I I sell words. That's what I sell. So at times it's always important that the words are representative of the idea you're trying to pass uh, 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 forward. So I can find myself going back a couple of times to rewrite the lyrics, uh, maybe change some instruments. So if we heard you right, you're more of a good enough type of person, not a perfectionist. Absolutely. That is it. Absolutely. We run this radio station on almost on a daily basis. Yes, we do. And the one thing we need more than anything is electricity. Electricity. So now, uh, given how important electricity is for our day to the running of our businesses and our day to day life, why is it that we still experience uh, electricity such shortages? Like we sometimes go blackout. Well, I think that we don't have enough power supply. To begin with, uh, I, I think I think um, we tend to have uh, power shortages too because of our growing industrial zones. So I think it's as a result of that. But I, I can see the city actively working on solving that. So I think we're on a good footing. I'm not satisfied with that answer. So. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah. Well, well, Walu Jaba, I think that if there is already some construction going on, then there is hope for the future. Even if it's not us yeah. leaving that future, maybe the next generation. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Jadia Radio. And if you are constantly listening to Jadia Radio, you must have heard the song Mami High Tension. Amazingly, today we are not on Mami High Tension. It is Papa High Tension and we give it to you when we come back. We get to talk more with Wan She and discover what he has in store for us. If you're just tuning in, you're on Jadia Radio Station. Jadia, just another day in Africa. The place to be when you're looking for ways to spice your day and your life. So right now, I think it's another time for us to segue into something much more important. So what is that one thing that every society needs to be able to change their future? Well, I think, first of all, to have been able to leave from where I used to be to here, I got education. Education. Mm -hmm. Nelson Mandela said education is that key that can open any door. Mm. So, Mr. Wanshe, can you tell us about your educational background and how you got to where you are today? Oh, I, do, I don't know. Haven't you heard? Artists don't go to school. <laughs> well, we think <laughs> I'm kidding. Um... I studied literature, African literature, and uh, yeah, that, that that's probably the only thing I remember from 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 that period in my life, <laughs> because I was always out of class, in the streets, trying to get money mm. for studio sessions, uh, you know, just trying to just trying to chill. Hustling, you know. hustling, absolutely. This mm. is Africa. You, you, you have to, you have <laughs> you to make, have you have to, to make, hustle. you have to hustle. You have to make ends meet. But I, I absolutely think um, education is key. It helps you. It, it teaches teaches you how to learn, mm -hmm. which is very important. It teaches you how to learn, and um, I see, I see what the city is doing uh, when it com concerns higher education, and I think it's a good thing. Uh, we need more professionals. Mm. Like I, we we won't we won't be here on radio if we did, did not have professional engineers handling our sound. Oh, so yeah, mm -hmm. oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah Shout so. out to our engineer. You know, Walu Jaba. From yeah. the beginning, you quoted Nelson Mandela, and you said he says that education is the key 
to what that I don't know. Every door. Okay, the key that opens every door. door. And while Wan she was talking, he also made mention of the fact that education is the key mm-hmm. to open every door. Yep. I simply want to emphasize that that key mm-hmm. should be given to everybody if possible. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Education is a human right. It's very important. Facts. Sometimes we really do suffer because um, we lack knowledge. We do not study because when you have knowledge of a thing, it puts you steps ahead and you are able to conquer those things that you look at sometimes as your fears. And so we are going to be taking on a musical break. And this time, Sofa Woman by our very own One Shay. Stay tuned. We will be right back in a jiffy. What Walu Jaba intentionally did not mention was the fact that I studied literature. <laughs> and today, I'm a songwriter. So yeah. oh, I, I am applying exactly what I learned in school. Yeah. And, um, and I want to take this opportunity to mention some, some, some liter- lit- liter- literary giants mm-hmm. from Africa that mm-hmm. inspired me. The mm-hmm. Wole Soyinkas, mm-hmm. uh, Chino Achebe, mm-hmm. uh, Basie Head. The, there are a lot of them that really inspired me. Mm-hmm. And, you know, Africa, Africa, Africa is uh, is home to everybody, mm. Mm. and we need our storytellers. We need people who can tell our history yeah. to the world. Mister Wanshe, yes, sir. How do you learn nowadays? Is it through reading? Is it through going and experiencing things firsthand? I still enjoy reading. Okay. Um, I'm I'm a little bit old fashioned. I like I, I like the, I, I like the feel of a. A book. There's the internet too, of course. And the internet is uh, everybody's school, free of charge for everybody. But I, I still like uh, learning the old, the old school way, grabbing a, grabbing a book, getting some coffee and just drowning myself into whatever it is I'm reading. So, What is the last book you just read? Facebook. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> that tells you something. Well, well, he's uh-huh. a rapper. No, no, okay. So, um, <laughs> but actually, I actually went back and read um, a book that was, that was introduced to me when I was in secondary school. It was called uh, When Rain Clouds Gather. I read it out of nostalgia. What was the last book you read, Walu Jabba? No, it was actually uh, Atomic Habits by James Clare. Mm, I that's, that's a good book. That's a good book, right? I realized I have some habits I need to break and there are some good habits I need to create. But, but, but I have one more question okay. for the both of you. Okay. How many, what is the percentage of books that have been completed on books that you decided you wanted to read but never completed? Oh my goodness. Is it, <laughs> 70 to 30 Let's not even as opposed go there. to the completed books. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I think about like 120%. <laughs> so. yeah, but but I, th- I think experience is like the best way Africans learn. Good. Yes. Because as they say it in Pigeon, you just step out and fall shock. <laughs> <laughs> experience is not the best teacher. <laughs> For real. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Um, it's just another day in Africa, Jadia. And today we have had the honor of talking with the phenomenal Wan She. So talking about living in Africa, let's look at uh, market prices. There's been, a, I don't know whether to call it a rampant or a vivid increase in prices. I am personally pained by that of granola oil. Yes, I, I don't. I don't know who is hearing this. <laughs> Bring down the price of eggs. <laughs> Bring down the price of eggs. I don't, I don't. I don't know what's happening. I don't know if it's just. Uh, I don't know if, if it's just in a city. But why? Why are prices so high? Well, I think that's just Jadia. Hmm. But then, should we accept it? Let's fix it. It's, it's about to be like the, the the food wars of the of the 21st century. Yeah. yeah. We're going to talk about this in, 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 in 100 years. And and my great-grandfather fought so hard to protect the price of eggs. <laughs> yeah, but, <laughs> okay, so, but why increase the price of a bag of rice? Why increase the price of Maggi? Why increase the price of red oil? Not yes, even red oil. And salaries are not being raised. <laughs> yeah. Something needs to happen, one shade. What do you your think music, we should do? Your music you? needs to be screaming these things. But it used to be so jadia when we we practiced agriculture back then. 
Mm-hmm. Now that everyone is moving to the cities, now that they are building like industries mm-hmm. everywhere, I once heard that you can now manufacture eggs because you were crying. We need bring us back our eggs. Mm-hmm. Oh really? <laughs> Please give me location. Like I have just one question, which is, uh, are these 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 new eggs? Are they going to be as delicious as the as the ones we know? No, they are GMOs. <laughs> if, 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 if that if that's the case, then let's 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 get let's get some some robotic eggs or whatever they are. Like let's go. I don't mind at all. Yeah, uh, Walu Jaba. I think that we've had um, a very beautiful time in the studio today, talking with Wan She Wan She. Thank you so much for coming through. Walu Jaba, you know it's always a pleasure to be here with you. Uh, each time you don't <laughs> give that negative energy, I feel like something is missing. So when you come through with a negative energy, I feel like, yeah, Walu Jaba is alive. And to all our beautiful listeners out there, thank you so much for keeping up with us in the studio. This is just another day in Africa and we will always bring it to you.